One and go. Hi. Okay. Hi. <laughs> okay. Start. Natural. <laughs> Ready? Well, whenever you're ready. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, hi. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. My name's Mark and this is my wife Tara. Uh, so Bobby left a, on Friday, was it? Friday. Friday. Yeah, so Bobby headed out. He was our fixed male that was up front, Goat, uh, Carl and Billy and Levi up front. Uh, so we found a perfect fit for him and what had happened was uh, a, a neighboring farm had two goats and they lost one of the goats. Uh, so they are herd animals and they like to have a buddy. Uh, so Bobby fit right in there. Uh, so uh, we uh, loaded him up in like a lot of times we do in the back of a, a vehicle, a car. Uh, you just put down a little blanket or such like and you put him in the back seat. So, uh, so he headed over and uh, we got some pictures uh, sent back. Tara got a picture through Facebook and he's standing there on a, on a rock just fitting right in. Uh, somebody else that came in this morning was Daisy. So if you were following our Facebook page, you would have seen a miniature horse slash pony uh, that was in need of a home. Uh, so she actually came in this morning. Uh, some friends of ours uh, uh, offered to pick up uh, Daisy. So they headed down early this morning uh, and picked up Daisy and brought her out. Uh, so tell us about Daisy, Tara. So not... Uh it wasn't just a home that she needed. Um, she had a good home, loving home, um, but unfortunately what happens sometimes is the foot care can get too up on people. And with the miniature horses and ponies, the type of feed that they can go on, uh, if they're on too much sweet grass with too much sugar content, um, they, they can go founder and their feet really take a beating for that. Um, so this family, um, Broken Hearts, have uh, decided to surrender her over to us um, so that we can see if we can help her feet uh, get better. Um, so she does have uh, a major foot issue um, and we'll try to get that done and taken care of just through the vets and the fair. Of course, our farrier, our farrier is a fantastic lady um, who has done miracles. So we'll uh, work with Daisy and her feet. Uh, Levi is up front. Boys would like her, eh? We're fostering one. Are you? Yeah. A little silly. No, that's fine. She can't. Well, she's got the soft brown, so that's a bonus. So she's right now, she's up here with the special crew, so Sheldon, Moira, uh, and George. And it's just a quieter environment for her so that she can relax. We don't want her running around. We want her to uh, stay very still. The feet are bad, that they're painful to her. Um, so her food and water will be right close for her. Um, and these guys are a lot calmer than the other ones in the other area. She is very sweet. Hey, Daisy. 
She's a she's a sweetheart. Look, there you are. Hey. But her feet are very, very sore. So we'll work on that and see if we can't get her feeling a whole lot better. Uh, the ground in this pen is also a lot softer, more spongy, um, so that she's not going to have any high impact um, on the feet that are already hurting her. Yeah, so her, uh, her hoofs are quite long. They should probably be cut off probably around here. But what's going to happen is she's going to require lots of visits uh, to take off small sections at a time uh, to get that correction to happen. If we can even correct them. It's going to be a challenge. Yeah. Okay. But she'll be taken very well care of. We'll probably end up getting her some pain meds, eh? Something just to help with the swelling. Yes. Sheldon, so, leave you alone. So when she came in this morning, uh, it was quite cute because uh, at the gate right over here behind me, uh, Daisy went up and of course Shadow was there and Meadow and Willow and they were all right at the fence uh, to greet her. So it talking. was quite cute. Yeah, and they were They do. They, they were, were communicating. <laughs> Somebody had said that she looks like she's been here for a long time and calm. But we really truly believe that the animals talk to each other and let them know that it's okay. Um, and Shadow has been, she hung out here all day letting her know that it was okay. And uh, so I'm thinking that once she goes into the other yard, when she's ready, um, that she'll probably, Shadow will probably pick her up and uh, be her buddy, her partner, um, just to help her through the emotional part of uh, being not 100%. So. So in here, well, of course, we've got Fernando uh, checking out the gate. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? Oh, you're not, you're, you lost your voice? <laughs> All the visitors today, you lost your voice? Oh, poor boy. <laughs> uh, so, of course, Willow is over there. And Meadow, like always, is by Auntie Shadow. So touching in on our ducklings, this is Selena, the Muscovy. And... These are her little ducklings here. There's two, and I believe there's another one over further. There they go, little motorboats. Uh, now, Chatty Kathy, because she's always talking, uh, is over on the other side of the pond. And she's got some of hers over there. And I believe some of the other ones are over, we saw over by the, uh, the waterfall or the, uh, the lighthouse over here they sometimes like to go up into uh, this area here into the river now what was cute earlier is um, what was it it was yesterday I believe it was Paula lied down here now Barry had done it at one point but Paula our alpaca lied down uh, while we had our open farm and there was some college students uh, that uh, were sitting on these rocks and they were taking pictures and uh, they, uh, they had a blast, so it was really cute. Uh, here is the other one right here, making, making his way back over to, uh, to meet with the rest of them. Uh, three new rabbits came in uh, this last little while. Actually, no, four, because you're right. Uh, Belvedere, uh, this is uh, little Belvedere. And Belvedere's uh, family could not have him where they're living. So Belvedere is not going to be up for adoption. Um, he has a home that just can't take him right now. So we have, they were very emotional and very in love with Belvedere. Very distraught that they had to bring him here, her here. Um, so we're just going to house her here and keep her until they're in a position where they can take her back. Um, so sometimes with when you have such a heartfelt family that just can't take the animals anymore, uh, we will house them until they can come back and get them. Now is that a, a law? Is, it, is she it's a law? It's a hall and law. Yeah. Um, and her, her name is Belvedere. So very, very friendly little girl. Um, and we'll just keep her till they're in a position where they can take her. The other two that are new. Uh, one's back here. <laughs> Hi. They don't have Whoa. Names, these two. Oh. Um, they're New Zealand Flemish Cross, my best guess without genetic testing. Um, and no names. So I was kind of thinking the kind of matching names, sugar and spice kind of idea. Oh, well, we got a digger. We um, got a digger. We got a digger. <laughs> Are you digging? 
uh, we'll come up with some names. But uh, so the chances when these three, there was three of them that came in. Uh, there's also a gray boy. Um, they are only nine months old. They came in because the family does not have time for them anymore. Did not realize the amount of time it takes to have rabbits. Um, so we took all of them. Unfortunately, the, sad, the, the downside to that is that a boy and two girls were housed together till they're nine months old. So ah. we possibly will have babies out of the two girls and then be finding homes for them. Okay, so we've got these two here, and Belvedere, and then there's one more? Yes, uh, the boy. Oh, the boy is over yes, in the boy the pen. the boy's ah, in the boy okay. pen. Oh, you're all lying in the shade. Yeah, all lying in the shade. The temperature difference is huge. Oh, yeah. So we have Turbo, which is a lot larger now than Lambert. You used to be the big boy, didn't you? And then Bronwyn. Uh, Blackie's in here. I uh, I guess she didn't want to go mow the lawn with the other goats. No, they're all back in here now. Oh, they are all back in here. Okay, because we had oh yes, we had the goats and um, well I guess the sheep too, which are here. They were all in mowing the dog run. Uh, so once in a while we will um, throw them in that pen there. And I guess the uh, the kids and the rest of them went out back. Uh, because they are not in here, except for the alpacas, minus Barry. Oh, you have to show this is so bad. Marley, Shanzi. Okay, so and imagine. Paula. See the flies? You talked about. Oh that. yes, the flies. You talked about the flies in your last video. Okay, look up. Yeah. Those fly strips have been in here for two days. Yeah, so Tara had picked up these fly strips because uh, we did, uh, she did pick this stuff up and it didn't seem to be working very well, although it looks like there is a big sludge of, yeah. of flies. And of course, tons of flies, even right around Marley here, you can see quite a few flies flying I around him. I went in and I bought every fly trap I could find. Look up. Yeah, so of course, so here's a paper fly trap. They've been in here two days. And then we've got one strip, two, three, four. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of the strips. And then two, three, four, five, six pads. And they're all just covered in so, flies. Tomorrow, I'm going to buy more fly strips. Yep, yeah, we need more because ours are full. All right, inside the barn. We have, where is our greeter? Right here, little Ralph. Ralph has found a home. Yes, Ralph has found a home. Although he is going to the vet to get his, uh, his uh, fixing and his shots and get all up to speed. Uh, and then he has a home, so yay. So uh, it might be a week or two before he uh, actually goes, but... Um, extremely friendly but he needs he needs to be in a house where people can love him uh, not just out in the barn right yes although you will be missed <laughs> uh, all right so something else that happened on yesterday because we had our open farm going on um, so you know that we have a guinea that had five keats about two weeks ago uh, so we left them outside, uh, figured, well, you know, they'll fend for themselves. They're pretty good outside. But we had another one uh, yesterday, Saturday, uh, and Tara thought it was actually the mom with the five. There was and then, a little boy who was like, oh my God, look at the babies. And they're walking over and I look over and I'm like, oh my, there's more than five. <gasps> yeah, and I kind of heard her scream. And I'm like, okay, Excitement. what's, what's going on? Uh, so because there were 18 guinea, or Keats, Keats. guinea Keats, uh, we decided we would bring them inside. Uh, because with that number... Too many for mom to handle on her. You're probably going to lose a couple. Yeah. Um, so, and we didn't want to. So we look in here now, and we're wondering where... Where are they? There's mom. Where's your babies? Hey? <laughs> Let's see. Can I look? 
Do you mind? I just want to have a peek. She's going to get all defensive. Oh, ooh, yes? What if I come from behind? Oh, there they are. <laughs> yes, I just want to look at them. Look at all the little babies. <laughs> So we, uh, as far as we know, there are 18, 18 there. Good job, Mama. Good job. Yes. Oh, I just want to pick one up. I just want to pick one up and show everybody. Oh, like a little chipmunk. <laughs> okay, go get him. There we go. <laughs> We'll let you tuck back in again. Oh yes, and he was, oh. he was needing the side. Uh, was he needing the side? Yes, he was needing uh, the I've side. got a cute picture of Ralph. While he was looking in here, uh, he was fascinated with the guineas. Uh, so it's uh, <laughs> it was a cute shot that I just had to take, uh, and that would have been on our Facebook page. So those are the little guinea keats. What do you think, Ralph? Are those little babies? <laughs> so, uh, Ralph is quite entertained out here, I think. <laughs> Aren't you, buddy? Yes. I'm just up here looking for the boys. And I found one of the little bunny rabbits that's been taunting. <laughs> there he goes. Been taunting there, right on cue. Toby barking. Uh, so up at the house, there's the uh, grassed in area right over there, right underneath the deck. And of course, the, uh, the rabbits, the little bunnies have been taunting the dogs uh, to the point where they've actually chewed through some of the wooden upright railings. Uh, so <laughs> it's just, they are West Highland White Terriers. West Highland White Terriers are essentially rodent killers. Uh, so they just go nuts whenever they see chipmunks or rabbits or anything like that. Uh, what was that, Tara? Interesting fact. Ah. We have learned that you can eat daylilies. So our daughter has been telling and sharing with people, I, so have I, that you can actually eat daylily leaves. And what nutritional value? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they taste good. If you they, know what nutrition value they have, uh, leave a comment below. They're sweet, fruity, like a cross between peach and apricot. They're yeah, I had one. Uh, Put them on a salad. A salad. Mm. Um, Daylily salad. Daylily salad. Just gotta wipe the little bugs off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now we're gonna have uh, all of you going out to your gardens and eating your flowers. <laughs> right? Uh, okay, so the boys. We're going to go find the boys, I which are starve. likely up front. Um, well, um, I don't know if you could fill yourself up on daylight. I'll we'll never starve. <laughs> I'll just eat the bush. <laughs> uh, we do have uh, rhubarb here. Uh, which looks like it's kind of um, seen better days. Something's been eating the leaves, mm -hmm. which um, isn't very common because the leaves are poisonous, poisonous. to a lot of yeah. uh, animals. But this is obviously some kind of insect. You can actually, for an insecticide, um, you can take the rhubarb leaves, boil them, and then take the li like boil them a lot, take the liquid, and use that as an insecticide. It'll work on all insects except the one yeah. that is eating these leaves. Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on. You can do it right through, just quick. There you go. Ooh, I didn't touch nothing. <laughs> uh, Levi. Oh, Levi. My 80s rock star. Oh. Yeah. So, Levi, and we have Billy, and we have Carl up front. Uh, so, Bobby again uh, headed off to a farm. So, uh, he is happy there. And what's interesting is the last few, well, not the last few, no, well, the last few weeks, I've been late at night hearing Carl uh, making all kinds of funny noises. Um, but uh, he didn't make any kind of funny noises last Hi, night. Carl. I, th I think it was uh, him uh, bugging Bobby. So I think Bobby will be relieved 
<laughs> that that he doesn't have to deal with you. <laughs> right, silly boy? Right? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Playing with the horns, right? Oh, oh, mom. Go get mom. She did it. Get him. A beer cap. Oh, really? An old metal beer cap. Yeah. Well, you'll find all kinds of different things on Hi, on the property. Hi, Carl. Where's my Carl? <laughs> so these guys get along fantastically. So sometimes oh, Carl needs a little bit of, of human interaction. <laughs> He's like, Go get mom. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so he'll always jump up, but he's always uh, respectful of spit. Well, I shouldn't no, say always. always. When he goes up to rear. Carl. Although when he comes in, he's just coming in to, oh, okay, he's, yeah. see, he's licking my, and then rubbing. Yeah, okay, buddy. Carl, <laughs> hold my man. Hi, Carl. You're trouble. Hey. Come on, boys. How you making out there, Levi? <laughs> and Levi was actually talking to Daisy this morning as well. So he was neighing. Oh, more salt. You like the human salt, right? They got big salt blocks, uh, which I've mentioned before is, uh, is good for the hot summer days because the salt allows them to retain water. Are you a sweetheart? Do all people... No, it's my glasses. Daddy. Oh, did he just kick him? <laughs> he backed into him. What are you doing? <laughs> Look at his eyes. Oh, Billy. Oh, Billy. Oh, oh. oh. Come on, Lisa. What? Don't come at me. <laughs> the thing is, you never know. Carl. I know. You're handsome. You're amazing. He He's gets mine. See, he gets up on higher ground. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let me eat the leaves. Yeah. No, he doesn't like those. Oh, he's got his tongue out. Yeah. <laughs> Does it smell good? Oh, yeah. You like that plant? You're, <laughs> You're such silly. A goof. <laughs> so, what are you picking, Tiana? Choke cherries. Have you been eating them? No. What do they taste like? Bitter. <laughs> Well, let me I eat one yesterday. Let me eat one. I ate one yesterday. This one looks pretty ripe. You have to tape it. Well, do I have to tape it? Oh, well, hold it up. Here, I'll put <laughs> the screen down so you can see where I am. <laughs> Why is it going to be really bad? It's really bitter. Let's go see that. Why do you have to come so close to me? Because I have to see your lips. Mm. Okay. It's like your lips go dry. <laughs> they taste really dry. <laughs> <laughs> Seed. Yeah. Tastes like I need a drink of water. You taste now. it, yeah. Yep. And you'll have an aftertaste in your mouth for a while. Yeah. yeah. So, what are we going to do with them? Jam. You had a lot of sugar. Yeah, I would imagine so. So, it looks like there is a lot of them here. Yeah. Nice and ripe. All right. So, we're, uh, we're going to be making jam. There's another container in there if you want it. Look, I found berry. Barry always seems to be the last one out. Hey, Barry. What are you doing, bud? Hi. Oh, not a chance. <laughs> All right. So they uh, they do a really good job here of mowing the grass. So we have we haven't mowed this with any kind of mower in years. 
Uh, so once in a while we just let the animals in. Uh, it looks like Tara's got a sprinkler running here. Uh, and it's great for feed and uh, it's a nice little treat for them, some nice green grass. And we can kind of control uh, the amount of grass that they eat. I just walked the entire back of our 10 acre woods here and not a goat to be seen, not even a wild animal. Uh, so they must have come up while Tara and I were up looking for the boys. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm seeing them here now on the other side of the pond. Uh, and this is probably not a, uh, a common view of the pond that uh, you guys normally see because uh, I don't usually do too much filming over in this area. So it is a beautiful late summer evening with the ducks swimming on the pond and the goats wandering through the bush. Uh, so Billie Jean here, well, now she's kind of hit, there you go. <laughs> um, she is going to be staying here on the farm uh, as well as little Holly here. She'll be staying on the farm as well. Uh, now the other kids, Oh look, now they're going out back. <laughs> the other six kids uh, will be going to uh, to their own farm and four of them, the four boys, uh, which is the Star Trek crew. Uh, now I'm not sure where Nimoy is. Nimoy is the black one. He's always, he's always left behind doing his own thing. Uh, but Spock, uh, Scotty, uh, Nimoy and there is another one that uh, because he originally went to take three and he's gonna take four now uh, he's gonna take all four uh, so he is um, he's an older guy that owns his own construction company and he's got quite a few acres uh, just on the edge of the city and he wanted some goats uh, apparently he wants to start up a little hobby farm for his grandchildren uh, so that's kind of neat. So he came out and he's co been coming out quite a bit and visiting the animals, visiting his little boys. Uh, and I'm going to have to uh, maybe pop in there and uh, have a look at it. And maybe I'll show you uh, a video on where our goats uh, usually go to. What kind of homes do they go to? Because uh, we always want to make sure that they're going to good homes. Uh, we set the bar pretty high for our kids. And uh, if something doesn't work out, then uh, they can always bring them back. Uh, so they don't have to worry about uh, uh, any kind of issues there. Fully warranted goats. Uh, how's that? <laughs> uh, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to be giving you regular updates on Daisy. You can always follow us on our Instagram or Facebook page uh, to get up-to-date information on how the animals are doing. Uh, but of course I will be covering that in future videos. So it's going to take some time for Daisy. Uh, we're not sure what we can do with her, but hopefully we will be able to get her uh, back up and running. Uh, so take care and until next video, we will see you then. Bye-bye. Thank you.